Let's swap the camera around. Uh huh. Okay. We are about ready to get started. Oh, I, I was ready for y'all today. I was ready for y'all. I saw y'all coming in the door. I was waiting for you at the door. I was waiting for y'all at the door. We got pretty much our, our, our meat. And I'll let you guys know what I did with that meat. So you know what's going on in that pan. It's been cooking about two hours. But come on in. What's up, miss? How's everyone doing? Let's uh, let's start our, uh, our Cooking with Greens theme song so we can officially be ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. you over there saying girl you best to sing i don't know who that's gonna be all right so what's going on guys real simple today we're doing um saint patty's day i know everyone's doing saint patty's day but we do it too especially since our last name is green we're gonna um and yesterday was our anniversary so saint patty's day area is a nice you know a momentous uh, a, a holiday for us. We got married the day before. Um, we have 35 years as of yesterday married. And today we're going to do our own St. Patty's Day meal um, of corned beef and cabbage. Um, I'll tell you guys what I did so far. We actually bought a corned beef. I've had it cooking for about two. It's just a little about two and a half pounds. I had it cooking for about two hours or so um what i have it cooking in just so you know so we, we can all be caught up um i used the pickling spices that were in the the package um if you don't have that you can use peppercorn and bay leaf and dill and some other stuff to get the same effect um with that i added our no salt go-to blend uh, about two tablespoons of that we had i had about a teaspoon or so of uh, uh pepper flakes about a uh, quarter teaspoon or so of pink Himalayan sea salt. I added about two tablespoons of dill pickle juice from um, leftover from our dill pickles. <clears throat> added um, a can of an ale. Uh, you can use a stout. You can use whatever kind of alcohol. Uh, but I kind of like that flavor that it gives it. The, the barley and the hops. I usually use a citrus ale to give it that citrusy fruity flavor undertone also and also some beef broth so i actually put cut the um any excess fat that was on the bottom not too much just there was a, a, a thick layer on one end i cut that off laid that with the fat side down we covered just enough so we it's reduced from, from over so it was over this uh meat to that right there but we're going to add some more to that so we have that now on a low simmer um what we're going to do next anita is cutting up some taters we're going to get those taters thrown in there we're going to throw some more broth on top of that <clears throat> and then we're going to allow that to go ahead and cook yeah i think i have it we're going to allow that to cook we're going to throw that in here right 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 we're gonna add broth in here to cover it up and we're gonna bring it back up to a boil once those potatoes start to soften we're gonna take the taters out we're gonna take the meat out and we're using some beef stock just want to get it just enough thank you babe and we're going to bring that to a boil here. Turn that back up. 
boom so we're gonna let that cook some more we already had that reduced sauce in there so it's already super flavorful already we're gonna let that reduce a little bit while we're actually doing that we're gonna cut up our cabbage into some wedges so we can get it in the pan mostly <clears throat> I've cut some uh, carrot up um, you can omit that if you want we have some sweet onion that we're also going to put in there and we're going to make that also cook after that in the same we're going to use the same broth okay so now we have that meat in there it's been cooking it's nice and tender it's very flavorful we're going to let those potatoes cook in that same with the fat with the all the seasonings that are in there the beef broth the ale we're going to get those flavors in, in uh <coughs> infused in the potatoes once they get a little soft we're going to allow those to come out. We're going to toss that with a little bit of melted butter. We're going to, I actually took uh, the liberty earlier to roast a head of garlic. Thank you, babe. So we have some roasted garlic. We're going to mash into a nice little paste. We're going to go ahead and squeeze all those bad boys out into a bowl. I actually uh, baked this by just cutting off the top so we got into the cloves of garlic drizzled it with liberally with some uh, olive oil and then I hit it all with some pink Himalayan sea salt put the oven at about 400 <clears throat> and cooked it for about uh, oh, close to an hour so it's been cooling down so it's nice and cool now um, so we're gonna toss that with the paste and that um, butter melted some parsley some green onion and that's going to be our potatoes so we're going to have this a nice slightly elevated corned beef and cabbage i know a lot of people throw it in a stock pot i like doing this this way if you don't have the time yeah that's fine um <clears throat> the uh, amount of time you need for uh corn the corned beef like this about almost an hour 50 to 60 minutes per pound so this is two pounds. It's been cooking for about two hours. It's cooking a little longer now in the, um, in the, with the potatoes. And then it should be nice and tender and juicy and flavorful. So Anita's gonna be cleaning out this. Let me say some highs. I haven't, I haven't said the high to anyone that. <clears throat> Somebody said, <laughs> Charles said, you call for the La Fam, you okay? You ain't got the coronavirus, did you? You know, he just drank something right before. Yeah, you yeah, know. I did. I did something bad, so my I bad. said they gonna say that. Yeah. No, not even the cold, guys. I actually tasted something that was... I actually... Okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I had a little bit on the side of that when it was down uh, um, that sauce, and I was cleaning it out. And I had a spatula, and I licked the spatula after I threw it in here, before I threw it in there. And them spices, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. But uh, Marcy Boykin, how are you guys doing? They said, why does it need to use a vegetable chopper when she cuts up onions and green onions? My husband don't want them chopped up too much. No, um, that's not why. She can do why? whatever she wants. I cut what I feels like cutting, Anita. Andre yeah. McNeil, how you doing? He says, happy anniversary to us. Francine, I see you, Margie Boykin. Um, Melvin Florence said, he's never even eaten this before. Melvin, you better get out the house. Well, maybe not now because they're telling people to stay in the house a lot of places. So, But when you can, get out and have some of this. Tina Jackson said, o Oklahoma, tuning in. Love your beautiful brown eyes. Oh, Nita, you hear that? Yes, you do have beautiful brown eyes. I thought eyes. they was talking to you, Jesus. No, they talking to you. Sean, Sean, what's going on? Uh, Michelle Curry Barden, happy anniversary, she said to us. Dora King is here. She said, good evening, cook corned beef, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, and homemade cornbread last week. Oh, right. you ahead of us. What's up, Denise? My mom's Ooh, doing well. Bread. Might need to make some cornbread, but I'm just it's saying. Right. Plus, oh. your mom's making kale tomorrow. So, boom. Boom. This might be a night to make cornbread. Pearly Nelson, what's going on? Happy St. Patty's. Uh... Sherry, what's going on? Tony Partington, I see you. A lot of people make corned beef and, and cabbage. Tony said, no corned beef for me. I made some beef liver, mashed potatoes, corned peas for my supper. Oh, that's interesting. Well, mine's making liver this week, too. So, yeah. So, what's up, Star? So, that's what's happening. We're going to allow this guy to, to come to a nice little boy. We're going to let it cook a little bit. Anita's doing a good job at cleaning out our, our garlic. <clears throat> you can see what, how it looks. I think you can. Wait a minute. 
Squish it. Throw them out. And so we're going to just mash that there up a little bit. And I'm going to melt some of that butter in there. Let me um get... You know what? Let me grab this. This probably... Well, let, well, let me, it should be soft enough to match yeah, with this. Soft. Boom. So this is roasted garlic. It's delicious. It smells so good. It's good on toast. It's good on everything. When you do your mashed potatoes, if you do this, you roast a head of garlic before. Yeah, you can go ahead and freeze it afterwards. Yes, it's fine. So now we got some nice, creamy, roasted garlic. If you never did this, you, look, I don't even know what to do. I might have to kick you out if you never had roasted garlic before. It elevates the garlic flavor so freaking much. It is cray cray. It is cray. So, going to go ahead, get that beautiful roasted garlic done. I'm going to go ahead and add our butter there. I'm going to go ahead and let it melt a little bit so we have this ready. Put it in my special space age cooking machine. I don't know if all you guys have one of these in your house, but this is a special, special spaced age cooking machine from the future really? from the future, future babe it is from the future so yeah. Nita's getting that cut into some nice wedges she's trying to cut out the heart there or the stalk yeah. or the core what's up Sudom uh, from New Jersey good to see you star from Detroit is watching Gloria, hey, 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 said happy anniversary, Denise Frillo, hey. Thank Cynthia you. Agnew from Baldwin said, oh, she's from Baldwin, Mississippi. How you doing? Karen Williams from Beaumont. I see you, Yolanda Booker. Thank you, guys. We're still having that sale, if you guys were wondering. Um, we're letting you get a five-pack of any of our spice blends plus a sixth one. So, in essence, you are getting six of our spice blends for a limited time only for only eighteen dollars that's right you can pick your six you can be like you know what? i want two bottles of that i want a bottle of that i want a bottle of that i want that one i want that one you still not finished women two three four five we can get one more so you might say i want that one so boom all six of those you can get for only eighteen dollars Let's How long I cut this? He's gonna cut it into just some wedges. You can cut it in half and then in half again. You want me to do it? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm sorry. Here, here, you be here. You talk to the people. Talk to you the talk people. to the people. You might not All be right. down at the bottom. You just scroll to the bottom. Yeah, you're at the bottom. How you doing, guys? Never roasted garlic. How do you do it? You just take some a whole head of garlic and you cut off the top part. To, right. to expose the tops of the garlic. Put a little mm -hmm. olive oil, a little Himalayan sea salt if you want on it. And you roast it for what? About... You have to, you have to uh, wrap it in aluminum Oh, yeah. Foil. And you wrap it yeah. in a piece of aluminum foil. Put the uh, oven on about 400. So you want to have it in a high heat. So you're totally roasting it. It's going to cook because the aluminum foil is around that. And then we're going to... Um, and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. And it has your whole house smelling like oh, you're cooking. so good. So good. Um, let me cut this up too, since we didn't do any of that. Yeah. Why are you talking to people? Hi, everybody. Happy. Thank you for the anniversary shout outs. We really didn't do much because yeah, pretty much everything's people. closed. Yeah, what did we do, babe? So we went to a movie theater and we were the only ones in there. Yes, yes. And? And we went to Cheesecake Factory right. and it was maybe three other couples in there. It was there. so sad. It so was so sad. We were I feel, I feel pretty bad. much it. We walked around and there was nobody on the streets. There wasn't really a lot of people around the town. No. Um, Downtown really Norfolk was pretty empty. Yeah, the town was pretty closed. But again, it was the middle of the day, too. Um, so so I made this for my older daughter and her son's birthday. It was her gift 30 years ago on this day. For a home and full of cabbage and potatoes. I gotta see if I had the stuff to make cornbread because cornbread seems like it's a pretty good idea I think with you this. You might have to make cornbread with this tonight. I'm, I'm just, just thinking. I'm throw that out. Oh, this beeping. Let me go over here. We're gonna check our, our high end, super futuristic cooking uh -huh. machine. Ooh, okay. Sorry, guys. Yes. Yeah. Super, super high end. Well, Future butter cooking and garlic. Machine. Boom, boom, boom. So you got a nice melted butter and garlic 
we're gonna go ahead and toss our taters with this once they come out and they're set to go so team needed what's team needed man always team needed just because <laughs> Y'all know how. Y'all know why. Just because. Team Nita. I know. I and the know. smell of garlic is just so. Smell that. Smell oh, it that. smells oh so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That smells amazing. All about goodness. Now I'm trying to think. Do I want to make slices of onion or. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. Chunks. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and cut this onion. Okay. I'm going to stand back. I don't feel like my eyes are watering. No, you should be. I'm not. I have this fan around my neck. Uh, I'm not tired. We've been running around all day. We had laundry to do, and we had the house to clean up. Cause you know you disinfect post everything. Post out spices. Yeah, we we had to go to Restaurant Depot, trying to find more paper towels and a little more water and paper towels. I mean, and toilet paper. Toilet paper nobody has. We can't find it anywhere. So we just holding it in right now. We're not no, no, we have We're like not for 16 next. rolls. Cause I did a count before <laughs> I left, but we had no paper towels at all. We're not gonna poop for the next. Uh, and we picked up a weeks. few groceries that we would need for the rest of the week. My mom went out and bought some stuff that she wanted. She wanted to eat more greens, and she wanted liver. My husband does not do liver. No, for two reasons. I don't like it, and then I get gout. Um, so he doesn't do a lot of so organ meats. So playing gout, and I really have, I haven't had any gout out, outbreaks because I've been watching what I eat. I've been adding uh, tart cherry extract and um, uh, um, pineapple and drinking a lot more water. So you can, you can, like I always say, you can eat your way to better health, and that's one way that I do it. Actually, I don't want this. Oh, Tina, um, I'm so sorry for your loss. We will be praying for you and the family, and happy birthday to your husband. Okay, so that shouldn't take too long. You want to see what's going on in the pan? No, it's boiling. I can see. I can see through the glass. It's boiling. Goodness, you see all that brown goodness boiling, 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 boiling. Okay, wash your hands. Okay. And then we figure out what else we're gonna be doing. So let me show them what actually. I think I told them what I what I put in the in the meat when we started. Um, we used um, the pickling spices that were in the package. I okay. used about two tablespoons of our no salt go-to, which is an onion garlic blend. It's garlic, onion, paprika, black pepper, celery, uh, onion uh, powder, garlic powder, and turmeric. Um, I used a little of our pink Himalayan sea salt with uh, kelp for iodine. Used a little bit of red pepper flakes crushed. And we used a pay, an ale. I usually use ale. I know some people use stout and things like that when they cook. Um, but I use an ale in there. And I always look for one that has um, citrus undertones because I kind of like those notes in there. Um, and that's all we use to season other than the fact that we have beef broth with that. Okay, so we're just waiting for the potatoes. So we're going to wait for the taters to soften a little bit, which shouldn't take too long. Um, when we're done that... We're going to go ahead and flip into another gear and get this cabbage done in the same broth. And then once the cabbage is and the carrots are slowly done, we're going to go ahead and prep those potatoes. And then we're going to be ready to serve that. So simple. Oh, so hard. Oh, they're definitely going to be, be uh, hard. Carla said her grandson's birthday is today. Mama Green is good. She ran the streets today. So she's actually resting yeah. in her yeah. room. Uh, Shirley Thompson, how's it going? They, Tina said, thank you, Nita. And Derek reminds me of me and my hubby. He passed three years ago. He would have been 57 tomorrow. Oh, sorry to hear that. But I'm glad you had a chance to have him in your life. And you have me memories that will not go away. And hopefully you don't memorialize the fact that he is not here, but memorialize the fact that you had him. So that is, that is a blessing. Um, I'm happy that you had that blessing of someone to be in your life for, for that long. Um, Shirley Thompson, what's going on? Let's see. Does anyone have any questions or anything? Lisa, thank you guys. Thank you guys for also, um, our, our, I wanted to say Facebook so bad. Our YouTube page actually is really popping. We popping in these internet streets now. So we need to pop some more. We need to pop a little bit more. So we thank you guys for watching. Um, right now we are trying to, um, get our, our, 
our hours watched up. So if you've seen some stuff on YouTube that we posted, go back and watch them again. It'll help us out. We're trying to monetize, monetize that page. In addition, we're going to try to start doing a Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is a way for you guys to actually support us if you want to. Um, and you get um, paybacks for it, like um, a special, um, what am I looking for? Benefits for being a patron. You can do a dollar four dollars two dollars three dollars whatever you want and based on each level we will give you guys specific uh perks perks is the word i'm looking at what's up kim martin we are making a beautiful uh corned beef and cabbage meal super super simple princess Lori said i would love to get some of your spices in your in your seasons but i'm legally blind trying to raise three children on my own and don't i have extra money but i don't lo but i love watching you and everybody in your group well, Princess Lori, hit me up. Uh, we will send you a couple of bottles of our spice blends. How about that tonight? Well, All right. Anybody out there would like to. Or if anyone else would like to actually help with uh, Joe Bishop and a lot of other people do that, they actually pay it forward for other people. But Princess, hit me up um, tonight. I can't do that for everyone, but we will um, we'll, we'll shoot you a couple of bottles. Hit us up with your address. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. Yes, Michelle. How are you? They said, Nita, did you ever work outside the home or were you employed as the most incredible job a woman could have in life, being a mother? I, well, I was a mother. I have six kids. I raised them all. So they all went to school. And I used to just work during the holidays so my kids could have a Christmas. Because with six kids and one husband working, it was always tight. But I've had several roles, different jobs through my lifetime. Crazy jobs. I have had a lot of them. And I just... Stopped being an assistant manager at Family Dollar. Last now, year. Yeah, and now I'm CEO of Cooking with Greens. Well, she's the CEO. She's the boss lady. So there you go. Carla says she loves watching the Green family. Also, her nickname is Nita. Oh, that's hey, what's Nita. up. Hey, Nita Boo. How you doing? Carlene Street, like that, said, what happened with the FedEx context did you win? Um, March 18th, been. they're going to do the announcement of the top 100. So, right. thank you guys for voting, though. It means a lot. Um, Sandy said, I've been checking out your YouTube. Very good. Yeah, today we did a um, YouTube video. We did a Wendy's breakfast sandwich review. Um, we wanted to try it out. We knew you guys wanted to try it out. So, we did a little video. We popped it on there. If you get a chance, go to Cooking with Greens on YouTube and watch it. It's pretty we simple. We only did the three of the nine, so we still got six more to go. We got six more sandwiches to review, so we did the, the top three. Uh, what's your name on YouTube? Cooking with Greens. You can't, you can't miss it. Uh, Karen said, I'm always going back watching a lot of your old videos. Excellent. Connie Pulliam said her son's birthday is today. He loves to kick, Aww. cook, and she's going to get him some of our spices. We're going to have to sing happy birthday to... Um, to uh, Connie's uh, son. They say son or grandson. I'm, I'm scrolling back. Mm, son, yes. Ah, look. We about to sing happy birthday. It's about to be on. Nita, you ready? Always, honey. <laughs> She's not ready. She's not ready. All right, we're going to count y'all in for happy birthday. One, two, three. Follow my directions closely. I will shut this thing down if you don't oh, do it right, so all right? You, you got it? Okay. I'm the captain now. I Look need at my me. water though. All right. oh, so we're gonna, okay. Yeah, it's 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 warm in here. So no, it's hot. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you your water so we can sing happy birthday. You have to be hydrated. Yeah, too. Me, so me, 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 me. You ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear family. Happy birthday to you. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Connie Sun. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all of y'all. Even the ones that's like, yo, it's my birthday too. My birthday's coming. 
That was for you too. I know I said Connie's son, but I met everybody, all right? I met everybody. Thank you guys and happy birthdays to all our family that has birthdays. Charlie and Daniel says she got her blend. She's so excited. Oh, Charlie, you're going to love them. Have we ever co cooked corned beef in the oven? And Franklin, I have never cooked corned beef in the oven. I like the we flavor. Made this like a couple of times. Yeah, we only made it a few times. We made it um, way back in Jersey a couple of years ago. Uh, for the first time ever and i was like you know what i'm gonna make my own recipe for corned beef you can't go too far off the recipe or it's not authentic so i just uh did my own little uh look i'm kind of glistening like it's a little it is a little warmer here a little it's a little warmer here but um yeah no i haven't never done it in the oven uh canty cory what's going on uh peggy said how do you pay it forward to help someone it's two ways you can um do it on our facebook page and our shop is a pay button forward button and you can just put the amount that you want to do or you can just hit us up and say hey i like to pay it for it for if you if there's a specific person you want to do it for you can say their name if not you can say someone you guys want to gift um some of the spices i'm putting the money toward this shipping and and um and purchase so that's the easiest way peggy brown how are you doing patricia says she loves corned beef and cabbage she cooks it every year it's her favorite I feel like in my spirit, I want to see what these potatoes. Is right Vanessa there. Cooper says, shout out to the CEO. Sherilyn, do we All cash right. app for y'all season? I would love to try some. Yes. Our cash app is dollar sign. Come on, guess it. Cooking with greens. That's right. <laughs> y'all like, what? Yes. Dollar sign. Cooking with greens. So, so simple. No spaces. So, no spaces. No, no craziness. No anything else. Just dollar sign cooking with greens. So, even I could, even I could remember that. They're starting to get a little, a little soft then, but let me, let me just squash one up against the side and see if, okay, I like, I like them. I like them almost like that. They're looking, I know one thing, I ain't going to be burning my fingers for y'all because these, this hot up here. Okay, all right. All right, okay. I think I, I think I like where they're going. All right, all right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this off. Well, I'm going to turn it all the way down to low. We're going to get this meat out. We're going to go ahead and put it in a little pan or, or something and tent it with some aluminum foil. We're going to get these uh, potatoes out. And we're going to get it in a bowl so we can get a little tossy toss going. So I'll pull out a bowl. Because I'm the tallest one in the house and I can do that. So wait, you, you put the meat in one thing and yes. another? Yes, yes ma'am. Oh. Okay. So we're going to take the, the taters out and we're going to just put some aluminum fool on it. No. Let me take a little one. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a two pounder. It's a two pounder really. You probably can do it with this, babe. You probably can do this. Just give that maybe. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you. All right, we're trying to help each other. All right, so we like that. We like them taters where they at. We gonna get them taters out. It's got that beautiful broth cook in there. Those seasonings. We gonna uh, get some aluminum foil in that. It'd probably be easier if I just take the meat out first, and I can get the potatoes out a lot easier. <coughs> and, uh, and this makes a great uh, corned beef hash after. Yes, that's my We favorite might do part. that tomorrow for breakfast. That's my favorite If we favorite have enough part. left over, we'll come on tomorrow morning and I make some corned beef hash. hash. Can you um set this over here, babe? I'll take the meat out first. With that little fork? Uh-huh, with the little fork, because I'm a boss. Oh, okay. And I'm tensing Go ahead and just, right? yeah, go ahead and cover that out. Mm -hmm. Lord, so simple. Even a boy could do it, y'all. So simple. Even a boy could do it. Let's get these potatoes out. I really hope I made a lot of extra potatoes because corned beef half sounds like a good idea for tomorrow morning with the extra corned beef. And actually, we have this recipe on our website, cookingwithgreensfamily.com. If you guys did not know, you can um, get a hold of this recipe and all of our recipes on our website. We also have that corned beef hash recipe um, on our website. Which is so good. Which we might be following tomorrow. To make it do what it do. Do you understand how good this is going to be? Oh my God, I'm getting so excited already, Nita. Do you understand how excited I'm getting? 
The food getting done. You know how I get when I get excited. Yeah. The food greedy. greedy that's what y'all call it. I call it. I call it food orgasm. For food gasm. I call it food gasm. Sometimes my voice go real high. I get so excited. I got it. And sometimes I just, you know, I get real, you know, energetic and jittery. Cause you know, I'm a fatty inside. I'm a, I'm a big boy. Yeah, my my inside boy name is Clarence. It feel like, it feel like he like how oh, my name is Clarence. What y'all gonna eat? That's that's the way it feel in my spirit. Like Clark, my name is Clarence. How oh, my name is Clarence. All right, babe. So Clarence said. Clarence. Yeah, Clarence is telling us. Uh, I got you. To put this in. Are we breaking it apart? Mm, nope. You know, just put it in here like this. Oh wow! Okay. Well, we gonna just put it in here like this. I ain't getting all crazy with it. Okay. And 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 we gonna just bring that up and let that steam. Cool, cool, cool. Let's turn this bad boy back up again. So we can get some heat going in there. But Lord, these right here. Oh, you know what else we gotta put in here? This carrot and the onion. I forgot that quick, y'all. I was like, what? And, yep, and the onion. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. What? Oh, Jesus. No, I'm just, I'm getting happy. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that flavor. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my good. Let me activate these so I can get a little of this going here. So we can make sure these hard carrots get down here in the broth a little more. Oh, oh my good. Oh my good. Man, that's going to be good. All right. Let's just let that do its thing to a nice high boil let it cook down a little bit oh my goodness i'm getting excited okay so we got this tented look how hot these things are oh delicious now you know you can see by the color that these bad boys are delectable let's get can you hold this bowl can you get a second yeah i want to try to start getting this stuff in here and tossing it around okay gotcha come Angie says she cooked her cornbread and cabbage Sunday in the crock pot. Oh, the crock pot has worked. That works. We're getting this all in here. That's the garlic and all the butter. This, all this roasted, the roasted garlic. garlic. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. And that melted butter. Oh, do you all even understand? Oh, my gracious. Do you know how good? I'm already thinking about tomorrow. You know how good uh, the corned beef hash is going to be? Miss Daniel, your daughter has a beautiful middle name. Oh, my gracious. Y'all see all that garlic holding on there? Oh, the green onion. We're cutting some uh, onion up here to go in here. Oh, my gracious, my gracious, my gracious. Woo, man, a little bit. Of our parsley here, I chopped up ahead of time. Oh my goodness. Them taters, though? Them bangers, as they call them? I thought it was mash. Bangers I thought the sausage was, okay, was the banger. I thought the sausage was the banger. Yes, and you're right. You're, mash. right. you're right. You're right. Y'all don't listen to me. Don't be listening to me. Oh my God. Now let's get it with a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. It's probably plain. Ooh, just a little bit. Goodness. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Do y'all even... Whew, let's get the... Let's get the... Oh. I'm going to get some aluminum foil on this so it can stay hot. Let me just... Let me get a little taste. I just want to taste it. I bet you do. I feel do. like you want to be in my mouth. Fat man. Ooh. And you grabbed the biggest one. Get a little piece. Oh my gosh. It smells hot. Well, that's good. So fresh tasting. Just the potatoes is good. 
so fresh and simple i mean you can season it up a little more but i, I like this because we're gonna get that we're gonna let that roast beef be the uh Oh, this is my this is my little teeny piece. Y'all saw that big piece here. No, I ain't gonna complain. Ain't gonna you, complain. you seem like you already did, Nita. You seem like you already did. Oh, uh, mm, good. Mm, taste you that garlic. That Woo! Did you need this again? No, no. We can go ahead and um. I'm gonna wash the dishes. Yeah, we can go ahead and cover this up. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Just so it stays a little hot, I wanna. Check on these bad boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, right, uh-huh. I see what you're doing in there. Right, yep. Just want to cook it enough so our cabbage gets a little... Oh, you're trying to push... You're trying to try to push the whole thing off the... Oh, not the day, devil. You're going to be turn, burning me. I'm not going to the hospital today. I want... I, want, I still want, like, a freshness to my to my uh, cabbage. Of course, yeah, you can go ahead and cook it super down, but I want it to still have a little freshness to it. And I'll show you how I serve this. Oh, so delectable. Get back in there. Get back in there and do your thing. Get back in there. Ooh. So you guys see, it's already coming together. Ah, oh, let me peek at this guy. This guy just want me to peek at it. It want me to peek at it. Feel it. You're going to be in my belly so soon. Oh, my gosh. So soon. And y'all just seeing these. But... peek a -boo. Oh, my God. Oh, just my God. Oh, my God. I'm about to get slapped by Nita. Calm down. I'm about to get slapped by Nita. You just saw. Um, Andrew Rattler said, I thought they did it already. Chef Carmen said they didn't make it to the top 100. You know what? I don't know. I have to check. I did, I heard that they would, they would have... The finalists by the um, 18th, uh, which is tomorrow. So maybe they, they got them a day early. I will find out myself. Um, Inez says her first time watching this guy just happened to stop. Inez, guess what? Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. You are now part of the Cooking with Greens family. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, it means a lot to us that you even took the time to stop. Uh, Karen Vargas says, I'm worried everything locked down because of coronavirus, like ghost towns over here. There's yeah, it's, here too. it's a it's a little crazy. I get why they're they're being um, diligent and, and telling people to kind of stay six feet, uh, try to cut down on your public uh, activities. Um, it's because there's no no uh, uh, antivirus. There's no vaccine shot. No. Um, it, if you do get it, um, there the numbers look good for oh, you to survive. Don't make this um, over 99% of the people who have had coronavirus have have survived. So I know you're hearing a lot of numbers like 5,000, 2,000, and 120, and it's a minuscule number as far as a virus goes. When we have um, virus season every year with the viruses that we do have vaccines for, tens and tens of thousands of people die from it every flu season. So, um, yeah, be diligent, definitely. Um, don't get frenzied, don't get frightened to the part where you, you start to believe that toilet paper can cure. I'm still trying to figure out why everybody got the toilet paper. I, I look, I'm just going to throw that out one more time. If somebody's got the, 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 the A student answer on why everyone bought all the toilet paper out for the coronavirus, please let me know because I thought I was smart, but then I was like, maybe I'm not that smart because I can't understand what the coronavirus has to do with the toilet. I get that, yeah, you, it may give you diarrhea and stuff like that, but why? 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 Why you need all the toilet paper? Why? 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 So, I'm just throwing that out. I'm just throwing that out. Uh, Orly uh, Porter made corned beef and cabbage today also. Oh, man. I bet that's going to be good. Jeanette is going to YouTube now. Yeah, definitely uh, follow us on YouTube. Um, we appreciate that. Uh, Shirley says she watched the video of Darling Birthday. She laughed so much. <laughs> Uh, no, Sarah, we have four girls and two boys. Four girls and two boys. We have 12 grandkids. We have one great-granddaughter. So, they, hey, happy, happy Renee Jex. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, too. Ethel Bryan, how you doing? I see Shirley Thompson. 
Uh, Bridget said, thank you. It was on March 14th for her birthday. Rob Cantor, how you doing? <laughs> He's singing. What are the ages of our children? All right, children. Yeah, babe, can you help no, me with that? No. Babe, we got, we got to do better. My we son be, just had a birthday. We got to be better ca- parents. Okay, come on. Let's, let's do it together. Let's do the math. All right, all right. So you got yourself. Uh, Daryl is the oldest. Daryl. was born in 83. 83. Come okay, on, let's so do the math. Carol, one. Years, so he's 38. 38. Okay. Uh, Nicole is two years younger, so she's 36. Right, right. Jen, uh, who's after her? Courtney. Courtney. Courtney is 35. Uh huh. Is she 35? I believe so. Okay, Jennifer's 34. Mm hmm. Whitney's going to be 30, 30 on the 26th. And Derek Jr. is 28. Now look, I believe you. If you say so, yeah. I'm like, who, who am I to fight? Like, I don't know. I just be like, look, just when they say it's your birthday, I just like, okay, happy birthday to you. Tony <laughs> Barton said I need to put on some glasses like Stevie Wonder. Uh, Carla Whipple will start in culinary arts classes next month. Ooh. Oh, look, that is what's going on. Every once in a while, I'm like, man, I should take me some culinary arts classes. But then I, I don't want to I don't want to stop thinking outside the box. I, th- I think if I ha- if I go to a culinary arts class and they're like, this is the way you do everything, and I think it'll, I mean, maybe I'm just thinking weird, but I think it's going to, I think it's going to make me um, afraid, not afraid, but maybe it won't. I don't know. What do I know? I ain't never been to culinary school. I don't know. So I almost like where that is. I'm going to let that cook a little longer though. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, oh, my website, Michelle, is not on here. Let me hold on. Let me. Ooh, I said let me. Let me go ahead and put my go. website on here. Uh huh. Cause we gotta pin our website. So our website is gonna be pinned on the bottom. If you guys want to know where our, our recipes are, they're there. If you want to know how you can get our spice blends, which are still on sale, our spice blends. We're doing all. Any we're doing any five pack. So if you. Select any five pack, you can get any five of our blends plus a bonus six. So you have to say bonus six, and it only costs eighteen dollars for all for any six of our spice blends. That's right, any six. They're healthier, uh, pink Himalayan uh, sea salt blends and no salt blends. Um, they're less sodium. The salt is not the actual um, star of the, star of the uh, blends. All of our all of our ingredients are on the side of each bottle and on our website um, in order. So you know there's more chili powder, red bell pepper, lime, cornstarch, garlic, onion. Then there is salt. So um, yeah, we make sure they're all whole ingredients and they're really good for you. Really good stuff for you. We don't want to give you anything that we would not want to consume so and we wanted you to know everything that's in there we try to put as much vegetables as possible as much fruits as possible so for your for the price you're getting a lot for that price all right so i like um kind of where these guys are i want to get them till they're mushy mush and then we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna go ahead and plate these bad boys up i believe babe what you think i'm listening <laughs> All right, let me get my let me get my uh my uh what am I looking for? Tripod. My tr- yes, thank you. I just got I just got uh, I got old guy problems. Um, it was up there, but then mom came in, so she might have she might have cleaned oh, up for. Oh, it's right behind you. Boo, 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 oh. boo. All I'm right. It. That's okay. Ain't my ain't my. All right, so. I swear, we're gonna go ahead and plate this. We go ahead. We went on and turned the. Did you turn the fan on, babe? The fan is right over you. You know that, right? I, I have my fan around my neck. But no, 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 no. That's not enough, girl. It is, and it's gonna be hell degrees here Thursday. Do you hear me? It's supposed to be like eighty in Virginia. It's gonna be like eighty degrees here Thursday. It's crazy. It's already close to seventy today. I'm thinking, but close to seventy. Man, shoot. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. I only made so much because I thought Darlene said she was coming. I don't know where she is. Yeah, me neither. So let's get this bad boy together. I'm gonna grab this so I can take this out. 
uh, 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 uh. We're gonna allow this to. We're gonna cut this across the brain. Mm hmm. Yo. Oh. My God. Come look at this real quick. Before I go ahead and hack it up. Mm hmm. Okay, corn beef. All right, come through, corn beef. Okay, taters. All right, I see you. Mash. Okay, best of my tablets. You're still looking fresh. Uh huh. In that flavorful broth. Okay. Let's get it all together, y'all. Let's get it all together. All right, let's get you guys over here so you can see what's happening. Boom. All right. First thing I want to do is I think I want to cut this. A couple of slices. Okay, that's the way you're gonna cut. That's falling apart. Yes, it's a, it's tender. Ooh, it is falling apart. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be. Uh, ooh, stay, stay, stay. Uh huh. That's gonna make some good hash. Ooh, let's go make some good hash. You right, babe. Well, it's just, it's just crumbling right here. Hold it on. Sure is. Oh my gosh. All right, first of all, mm -hmm. nice, light enough, flavorful enough. Want to taste a little bit? All right, let's get the vegetables on here. I don't care too much for corn beef. I just like corn beef hash. <laughs> I know you do. I, I don't go and order corn beef sandwiches. I just don't care for it like that. I know you don't. But when you make my hash, what? When that hash comes in? Oh, oh. All right. And I like a little, like I said, I like it with a little bit of freshness still. So you can cut. Actually, let me put a little some taters in here first. Some mash. That's what they say. Turn that guy off. I didn't Let's get a little of our uh, herb blend. A little bit of that, a little bit there, a little bit there. Let's get a little parsley. Mm -hmm. So simple. So, so simple. Parsley. Oh, we that pretty. <sighs> All right. Super simple, guys. Hit it with a little pepper. Uh oh my grind. What'd you say grind? That grind battery ain't acting right. You ain't acting right grind battery. Alright, let's let you guys see what we got here. Uh-huh. Woo-hoo. 
There we go. We got that nice corned beef, cabbage. Mm, 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 mm. Real simple. Few ingredients. Taters. The beef is nice. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna go ahead and see how this tastes. I feel like I need a little hot sauce because I'm black, but I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to put no hot. I'm gonna try not to put no hot black. Woo! Listen, slow down, Derek. Your voice is raspy. Uh -huh. well, I'll tell you right there. That look good. Well, let's get a little tasty taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the corn beef and cabbage. Ow, 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 ow. Y'all see that? Mm, Lord, hold on, hold on here. Hold on, we got to go ahead and say a quick little grace so we can get this going and I'll let y'all know how it tastes, all right? So here we go. All right, boom. First of all, I wanna taste this. The cabbage. Take a lot of that flavor that we cooked everything in. Corned beef. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Potatoes already know it's banging. All I can think is corned beef has tomorrow. Oh my god. Girl, so that's all that's on my mind. Hey, corned beef has tomorrow? Gosh. Oh my god. Maybe a day after. Huh? Maybe a day after. She said maybe a day after. We'll see. But we're going we're gonna to make it with the leftovers. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Didn't Darling say she was coming over to eat? I don't know. Mm, onions are good. Got a bunch of onions on top of mine. You can get no onions for a bit? Uh-huh. Nice and light. Pears are good. The meat's nice and tender. I need only black pepper. Cooked properly. Nia's hitting hers with a little onion black pepper. Yes, I love my onion black pepper. Mmm, mmm. Good job. Good mm. job. We're good. Need a spice and hers up. What'd you put I on like there, babe? Black pepper. You put onion, black pepper, and what else? Sea salt. And what you think? You let me know. I think it's good. It's well, you already good. taste it. Mm -hmm. I'm very good. I just don't care that much for corned beef hash. I mean corned beef. I like corned beef hash. Okay. All right. Well, I'm waiting for the second. You look waiting part for part show. two of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. Very good. That roasted garlic though? Yeah, it's my gonna taste amazing. But that corned beef has? Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Mm. And that corned beef? What? Really good. Really good guys. Real simple. Real traditional. We follow it as close as possible without um, you're just doing a, a traditional corned beef hash, but this is our version of it. And that's a good version. That was quite good. The onions in there are really good. Mm -hmm. Everything soaked up a little of that flavor in the broth. Yeah. It's not overpowering. It's mild enough. This right here is his own meal by itself. Oh my God. Seriously. That right there though? Mmm. So they said <laughs> it looks delicious. Good. When you get off the air, I know you're gonna grab that hot sauce. Look, um, <laughs> you're not gonna judge me, all right? <laughs> right, y'all. Uh, said I never had corned beef. Maybe we'll try it one day. It's, it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty simple. It's um, like um, 
some pickle pickling um, spices that they use they cook it with but it's, it's really good um, where do you buy that lean meat from bought that corned beef from food lion, food lion. it was you know, like eight dollars like seven eight bucks we found the smallest one for a two and a half pound um, corned beef um, really good real simple real traditional if you actually cook um, this way it's light um, we didn't go too crazy on the salt and things like that. Mm -mm. Um, we would do start beef broth to get a little more flavor. We started with a nice um, citrusy ale that we cooked everything in. We cooked everything in the same same broth to um, run that flavor throughout everything. We changed things up like potatoes. We went and, and did a roasted garlic um, on that um, with a little mm -hmm. butter and a little green onion and a little. Um, I just a little pink Himalayan sea salt and spent parsley. The cabbage, again, you can cook the cabbage down more. I know some people like there to be like super soft. Um, I want a little it's texture. Soft. It's just not mushy. It's, it's cooked right. Not mushy, but it's delicious. Yeah. And the carrots give a nice little sweetness to it. And they're cooked through. So Let these people go. What broth do you use in the cabbage? Surely I cooked the cabbage in the same um, stuff that I cooked um, all the seasonings that we use in this recipe. And again, I will post the recipe. It's on our website. We use a, um, a citrus-based ale and beef uh, stock. So low-sodium beef stock, uh, citrus-based ale. And we cooked everything along with our seasonings. We used our no-salt go-to in there. We used uh, a little bit of pepper flake. Um... And we used um, pink Himalayan salt. sea salt. So that was really it. We didn't go crazy with the flavoring on that. Somebody said they're having a Reuben tonight. Mm. Oh, yeah, we're God. both we're out. We're both be 56 this year. Anita's 56 on, now. I'll be 56 in October. She robbed from the cradle. I was a baby. So nine months. <laughs> You're not gonna let them nine months go, are you? Never. You 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 a creeper. <laughs> So yeah, so tonight if you want to buy the five pack, any five, you can pick any five of our blends and you can put a six one in there also. So you put bonus six and it's only $18. That's right, only $18 plus shipping. Shipping on a, on that pack is seven seventy five. So just FYI, I know a lot of people get in there and they're like, well, I thought shipping was free. Like, mm -mm. where? <laughs> so yeah, you do unfortunately have to pay shipping. We don't make any money off shipping. Um, shipping is just whatever U.S. Postal Service uh, charges for their express rates. So, <laughs> we love you guys, man. Priority, I'm sorry. Um, no, we're not near a giant food store. Uh, what's for dessert? We're thinking about maybe making some... Um, Mommy keeps crying for this avocado chocolate pudding, so we we'll probably make that for... If we don't make it tonight, we'll make it over avocado chocolate pudding, maybe with you guys tomorrow, Okay. I know we've done it before. If you want to see us make it again, it's pretty simple. It's delicious. It's decadent, um, and it's a few simple ingredients that you probably already have in your in your, in your house. So we love you guys. We're gonna let you go. Need you got anything to say? Mm, it was good. Mm, she said oh, it is good. I still need to eat mine, so I'm, I'm gonna mine. leave you guys alone so we can do it. I will post the recipe. Thank you guys, all the newbies. We appreciate you being here. It means a lot that you actually chose to be part of our family. That's what you well, did by just we watching. We do appreciate it. You're part of the family. You can't ever get out. So we love you, and we'll see you again. No, we're not gonna make no babies tonight. Somebody said, "Don't go make no babies." Tonight. What? Are y'all crazy? <laughs> we married. We don't do that kind of stuff. We sure don't. <laughs> It's against the law, man. Ah, I'm look. 35 years is against the law. <laughs> no, she wrong, devil. Not the night, but maybe the night, devil. <laughs> hey, we love you guys. We love you guys. We'll talk to you again. Take it easy. Peace.